Uh, I currently work for the Self Advocacy Association of New York State. My current position there is Community Outreach Coordinator. I I just love seeing the the looks on people's faces when they are able to do something that they thought that they would never do, and that I had a little piece to do with that. Just like everyone else, I think it's important that we feel that we belong somewhere and that we can contribute. Um, and I think people with disabilities want that too. They want to feel that they belong somewhere and that they can, can contribute something because I think often we're, we're told everything that we can't do. Right, and we're, we're given from the day we're born, we're given this list of things that we'll never do. Um, so I think that, that that is important that people with disabilities are given those opportunities to belong, to feel they belong, to be able to contribute just like every other citizen. My name is Vincent Fang. I'm 24 years old. I work as a janitor. I'm on the autism spectrum. You know, I, I, I mop, I sweep, I clean bathrooms and cafeteria. I, you know, I clean outside sometimes. I take up the garbage. Uh, right now, I work from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Four hours, five days a week from Monday to Friday. I'm an advocate for myself and others in the community. I work at every group. To, to, to help make the, make the theater look nice and clean. And um, the chair for the CSCC. For a period of a couple of years, I worked as a computer programmer, mostly doing stuff where I dealt directly with the database and then writing code, taking the information database and sending it to other people so they could do what they had to do. I got interested in it because I wanted to know how things worked. I mean, I was just very curious about everything. And when I learned about how a database works, I created a few on my own, just to practice them. And just, just always wanted to learn. So I was a programmer for a few years. Then I got my master's degree in education. Then I went into New York and I started to do work as a self-advocate for people with disabilities. I learned about self-advocacy from a friend of mine. Her name was Jamaica Andrews. And she hooked me up with people at Sandy's. And then those people became good friends of mine. And we spoke to MSC and people that run agencies and all, and just told them about our lives and everything that we had to do. So we just showed them that we're humans and we can find a way to do so. Yeah, what I want to do next is I want to become a mentor to younger people and just answer whatever questions they have and tell them a little bit about my story and say, don't go here, it's not worth that effort, but definitely do what you enjoy. Hello everybody, my name is Joaquin Polian and I've had two jobs in my life. Done it so on the internship at Tech Kids Unlimited where I used to attend as a student and where I'm a counselor at right now. For the internship, I would do video game design and web design, visual arts, graphic design, music and sound production, web designing digital citizenship activities and I loved that job and then while doing it I became a counselor at Tech, Tech Kids Unlimited where I'm also doing the internship right now where I'm assisting and directing the kids while assisting the learning instructors. My future is me being a musician making beats rapping I also be playing the piano and me composing my own music. Um, hi, I'm Anna DeRosa. I'm a program research specialist with the New York State Council on Developmental Disabilities. Um, I'm also a self-advocate on the autism spectrum. I wanted to talk about Disability Employment Awareness Month, just to, to say how important it is 
to make sure that we have self-advocates in civil service. Um, I think it's really wonderful to be able to do a job, obviously, where I have this community that I'm incredibly passionate about that I get to support every day. Um, and also the knowledge that it's my community. Um, and, and here at the CDD, we like to emphasize nothing about us without us. And I like being able to be a part of that from a, an organizational standpoint. Um, so I would really encourage other self-advocates to um, apply for civil service jobs. Think about how you can go out and change your community um, by being a part of the government um, and a part of that sort of fundamental building block of, of our community and our society.